Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be thinning out the handle on my large American felling axe made by Grenforsbruk. You might think to yourself, but doesn't Grenforsbruk make perfect axes? And I think they do, but the axe handles on them are quite thick. Especially on these large felling axes, I really need to thin it down to be able to use it comfortably. So, what kind of discomfort do I feel now when I'm using it? Um, I feel like my hands aren't flowing over the handle uh, properly when I swing it. Uh, I kind of get stuck on the curves of it. Um, so I really need to thin it down in order to make sure that my hands connect each swing and uh, so I don't uh, miss or, or hurt myself. Uh, another reason is that I feel a lot of the shock waves uh, from the axe head hitting wood up through my hands and into my arms. Uh, a thinner axe handle works a lot more like a spring absorbing more of the shockwave in the handle, not transferring as much of the energy into my hands and into my forearms, and therefore making it more comfortable for me to use. In order to work comfortably on this axe, uh, since I don't have a vise that I can fasten in it, I uh, stuck it in this trunk. Uh, I then hit it, as you saw, with a big stick. Uh, to make sure that it really stuck in there. The tool that I'm using is a regular wood rasp. The beautiful dog you see here is my uh, dog Nala. She is six years old and she is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. She has uh, really adjusted beautifully to the life on the farm. She's not complaining at all. This was the hardest part of the axe handle to work on, the palm as well. Um, trying to keep it still while moving so far out on the axe handle was just impossible. After I was done with the rasp, I took the axe inside and continued working on it with sandpaper for maybe another hour. After I was done with the sandpaper, I then coated it several times with uh, boiled linseed oil uh, that I got also from Grensforsbruk. If you look back at axes from maybe 50 years ago, you could see a lot thinner handles than you see on axes being produced today. I'm not sure why we produce a lot thicker handles now than we did 50 years ago. Uh, I'm sure there is a reason, but I don't know why. That being said, I never felt the need to thin any of my other axes handles down. The feel that I'm going for here with this handle is the same kind of feel that I'm getting when I'm using the large Scandinavian forest axe from Grenforsbruk. Other tools I've seen being used are cabinet scrapers and knives. Basically placing a sharp object at the right angle where you can basically shave the wood off the handle. That also works. The technique that worked best for me, since I'm moving so much material off the handle, is 
basically making a rectangle and then rounding the corners between the faces of the handle. I didn't want to use power tools while working on this handle. It's very easy to make big mistakes really fast. And I wanted to make sure that I had complete control over what I was doing. So that's why I used a rasp. Every now and then I stopped working on it and then took a few swings with it to make sure that I was going in the right direction and trying to figure out what I needed to do to get to my end destination. Unfortunately, I don't own a rasp with a rounded side, so working here on the palm swell in the concave part made it kind of hard, but I made it work. Basically what happens when you have a straight rasp in a concave part is that only the teeth on either side of the rasp contact the wood, so it can be done, it's just a lot slower than with a rounded file. One thing that I wanted to make sure of while working on this is that I wanted to keep the beautiful Kranforsbruk logo on the handle. And I managed. Uh, I still think that I got the shape exactly as I wanted it, and I still get to keep the beautiful logo. All right, all done. I love the handle now. I feel I'm able to move my hands freely on the handle while swinging, uh, the shock, being absorbed by my body is greatly reduced. And yeah, I'm super proud. I might do this on other axes just because I really enjoyed the end result here. Maybe the small Scandinavian forest axe, maybe the splitting axe. I feel like the large Scandinavian forest axe is just perfect at the moment. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.